And finally, the Spirit not only makes us bold in prayer, but the Spirit also makes us bold in proclamation. But the boldness in proclamation does not precede the boldness in praying. The praying comes before the proclamation. After they prayed, the place where they were meeting was shaken. And they were all, all, without exception, not just the twelve, all filled with the Holy Spirit and all spoke the word of God boldly. All spoke the message of Jesus Christ freely, without fear, confidently, clearly. Peter Cartwright, not Ben, not one of his sons. Peter Cartwright is known as a Methodist circuit riding preacher in the state of Illinois. Uncompromising in terms of the truth. He came north from Tennessee because of his opposition to slavery to serve a church in Illinois. One Sunday morning when he was scheduled to preach, his deacons met him at the door. And his deacons said to him, President Andrew Jackson is in the congregation today. And knowing that you're used to saying whatever you feel God wants you to say, regardless of how people might react, we want to suggest that you tone it down a bit in the presence of the chief executive. <laughs> oh, okay. Peter Cartwright stood up to preach and he said, his opening remarks, I quote, I understand President Andrew Jackson is here. I've been requested to guard my remarks. Andrew Jackson, you're going to go to hell if you do not repent and trust Christ. <laughs> the audience was shocked, horrified. And they wondered what the president would do. The president uh, met with Cartwright following the service, and these were his words to the pastor. If I had a regiment of men like you, we could whip the world. You're fearless. Our calling is not to whip the world. <laughs> Our calling is to make Christ known to the world. 